and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Ayara's Citadel. That's right, we got a new donation deck where we are focused on playing a lot of cheap black creatures here with the help of Bola Citadel, half of our namesake. And the reason why we're doing that is for the other half of our deck's namesake, Ayara, first of Lock Twain. So each time a black creature enters the battlefield, including Ayara, our opponent loses a life, we gain a life. So that's what we're trying to do. We're going to be trying to drain out our opponent with a lot of those triggers um, where they lose a life and we gain a life. So as you can see here, we got plenty of cheap creatures here in the deck. Um, we have the Cauldron Familiars in here that also drain our opponent. So, you know, we're getting more drain action going on. And we have the Witch's Oven combo to go along with it where you can sacrifice the Cauldron Familiar um, to create a food and then sack the food to bring it back. So you have we have that combo going on here. But besides that, we got a lot of other cheap creatures, like the Lazatep Reaver counts as two creatures for Ayara. Um, the Enforcer is just one, but then it dies and makes another one, and so on. And so since we have a lot of cheap creatures, we have Priest of Forgotten Gods that can sacrifice two of our cheap creatures for that trigger. Also adds mana to our mana pool to help ramp us, to help ramp us into Citadel. Um, and, you know, if we're sacrificing creatures, maybe we're triggering Midnight Reaper also. And everything. So lots of cool stuff to go on with the deck. We have a Gruesome Menagerie in here that can bring back one, two, and three. And if we bring back a one drop and a Lazatep Reaver that makes two bodies and an Ayara, put them all in the play, that could be four Ayara triggers immediately to, you know, drain our opponent for four. So that could be really nice while rebuilding our battlefield position. And we also have a couple Forever Youngs, where if we were sacrificing a bunch of creatures and playing a bunch of creatures, we have a bunch in our graveyard, we can put them back on top of our library, and especially if we have a Citadel out, and then, you know, if we put, like, you know, five creatures back on top, we can just start casting all five with Citadel and draining our opponent for each one with an Ayara. So that could be really fun. So that, that's kind of the, the stuff that our deck has going on. We got some Witches Cottages, which are kind of like the Forever Young, put, being able to put a creature back on top. And it counts as a swamp as well. Um, so yeah, that's what our deck's all about. So let's see how we uh, how we do with this new donation deck here. So we're gonna go ahead and play Leak. See if we can get to five wins. See if that five win dream is alive with Ayara's Citadel. Thanks, Blue Jin, and thanks, Dean. Thank you. All right, let's see how this goes. Ooh. No mana. But we have we have double cat oven, which really only need one cat in the oven. The second cat doesn't really help too much for that combo. All right, we just got a mulligan a one lander. All right, this hand looks awesome. We'll put Enforcer back. I want to keep the familiar, the cat oven combo. And then we got Priest. Let the drainage begin. Hey Caesar, good afternoon. Yeah, Mr. RC, check out my YouTube channel. On Monday, I played Simic Flash and Best of One on there. So you can check out my list there and everything and check out the video. So yeah, if you want to see Simic Flash and Best of One, what it should look like. I, I really liked the deck. like the I, I liked the list that we played there. That's maybe the deck that I'm going to be playing for the 12 win um, thing this weekend. If, if not, I'll be playing like the Simic Wishes. We're gonna try out the Simic Wishes up next, which I should change, should move. Show you we're on this deck right now. No, the play any deck, well, at least the, um, the competition with the play any deck to like to be able to win all the cards. 
is what's up goose claws that starts on the october 5th and ends on october 7th but i think it start, starts like late in the day october 5th like 8 30 at night and then like ends like 8 30 in the morning on the 7th i think it's like a 36 hour thing it's something like that I don't think I activate Priest right now. I want to get a couple of damage in there. Oh, Witcher's Cottage. You're killing me. Um... All right, how are we gonna do this? So we're going to... It's just they lose two life and I draw a card. And do this basically you get that this extra mana for a Yara. Hmm. No, not you. You. Oh, this only puts something back on top. I was gonna be putting the Orzov Enforcer back on top. Oh, yeah, you're right, Dark Claw. That's what I should have done. I should have played the oven first and then sack the cat to the oven and then bring the cat back and then sack the cat to Priest. You're right. I should have done that. Oh, I don't know why this is a five. I, I hit the wrong button. That should be a two. Anyway, Jack back. Thank you, so, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub there. I appreciate that. Um, recommend one deck right now to craft a push to Mythic. Uh, tough call in best of three, honestly. Um, <clears throat> there's an, an MTG and My Little Pony crossover set announced, huh? Alright, so I sack this thing. And then bring the cat back into play. Get a couple drains. That's three. Do I have enough? So it's three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so I think I have lethal here. I think I have lethal. We'll see. Yeah, the, the second oven should do it anyway also. But I was just going to do it this way and then, like, just play in the Murderous Rider. Okay. That's what our deck can do. It can drain our opponents down. Yeah, it doesn't matter if they make a, a zombie. We're just draining them out. All right. Uh, do we sideboard? Legion's End could be nice. Ashiok is coming in. All right, Ashiok's definitely coming in. All 
are they like so murderous rider can kill can kill golos I still kind of, I kind of want to do this. So this would, we'd have Priest of Forgotten God for Golos, basically, or just, you know, going around Golos by just going upstairs. We are going to set it on fire. That's all we're going to, this is what we're going to do here. We should be drawing like ones and twos, considering that's like most of our deck. But we have our combo of a Yara and Citadel. Donation decks, so you play until you win five or lose two. We play a league. And so you either win five or lose two, whatever happens first. <laughs> the swamps are pretty this time of year. Yeah, these these are nice swamps. I like these ones for sure. All right, we're going to go with the Ashiok. Keep them from being able to search. Your final. All right, we got we got one Golos and one Circuitous route out of there. Those are the cards I wanted to stop. Like, ideally, we want to mill. We want to exile Field of the Deads. Ideally, that's the that's the one we really want to hit. Field of the Dead. Field of the Dead. I'll take Crisis. Bunch of other lands. Hopefully we draw a two drop to be able to play Midnight Reaper and two drop this next turn. And then we're going Citadel the following turn. Yep, Ugin, Krasis, those are good hits. Yeah, our opponent's deck probably doesn't interact with Citadel too well. <laughs> yeah, they're just sitting there with all these card library searching cards in hand, probably. Oh no! They had another Krasis. Well, that's bad. Legion's End? No. Alright, well, the Ashiok's gonna go. Hmm. You just let me know if you're ready for round two. Yeah, that is true. Verse. Versus these decks, milling anything is milling win cons. You know, milling lands is milling win cons. So one, two, three, four, five. We got rid of five lands. Grazer is like the worst card to mill. Yeah, so I think I wait. So yeah, basically I'm not sure if I want to sack 
sack gutter bones right now or not. Because then if, if like, we play Citadel and then, like, the top card's a land so we don't get to go anywhere, then I'd have to, like, sack, like, Midnight Reaper to keep going. I may want to just, like, save the, the sacking gutter bones part for next turn. Um... All right. Well, next turn. I really wish uh, Ayara wasn't legendary. Wish we could play another Ayara here. I don't know if we can outcook these zombies. I don't know. This is going to be rough. We'll see, though. Foxes. <laughs> I hunt bigger skin. All right, well, at least we, we got to back up a Yara, so we're good there. Um, guess I block. Try to save my, you know, I got to try to save my life total. <laughs> yeah, we, we ended up cutting wrinkles. We... Had wrinkles for a little while. Some menagerie. I just only have a three drop in the graveyard right now. We got 10 things. Citadel. Oh gosh, do I just die though? Uh, I guess I don't die. Right, because I'll lose... I'll lose some life, but I'm at 13. We did it. We did it. Haha. <laughs> wow, we did it. Wow, this deck could go crazy. That was insane. That was insane. Never never attacked the opponent. Never attacked the opponent.
Just untapped with Citadel, and then boom. How much damage did we do that turn? Did we do 20? Yeah, we, yeah, like, I think they were at, like, 20. That was awesome. All right, go get him, cat. Hey, DVG. All right, this this cat needs an enforcer. Yep, you got it, electrician man. Yep, it was. Yep, Glenhorn Cavalier Flame is like feasting. Feasting Troll King was like one one thing to discard, and then. You know, we had uh, foods to be able to bring back Troll King. They started the turn at 17. They en ended it a lot lower. So I think I just have to Murderous Rider the Electromancer. Electromancer is too good of a card to let them untap with, unfortunately. Obviously, I want to play a Yara first. Like, I, mean, I want to play a Yara as early as possible, but I feel like we just have to ride her. We have to have that Electromancer meet a swift end. Is that is that how much it ended up being? 23 damage for us? So 23 damage in one turn, huh? awesome no I'm not I'm not a big fan of Golos decks I, mean, I haven't I haven't played one like since the new set um let's play our cards So yes, sacking Cauldron Familiar, I draw an extra card over that, but we we get the extra point of damage in by doing that, by being able to attack with both of them. All right, so the ditch two Phoenix. Please, no spell. Please, no spell. No spell. Yeah. Yeah, the cat was about to eat some breakfast. It's gonna get gonna get enough food there. Gotta feed the cat. So Ashiok can exile their graveyard, which is cool against Phoenix. It doesn't really do anything against Crackling Drake though. But it is cool against Phoenix. You know, if they ditch a Phoenix and then pass the turn. Um, is that really gonna happen? I don't know. They have Lava Coil, which is really annoying. Whole exile bit. I don't like that. So maybe not Menagerie here because of Lava Coil. Maybe not our graveyard cards. Maybe, maybe we're just supposed to play Duresses. They could have Red Finale. I'm not not sure Ashiok's worth a card. I'm not sure on that. Let's play some duresses. Let's do that. Bleh. Well, we're on um, we're on the draw with like a really good turn one and a really good turn two play.
And then we draw a really good turn three. There we go. I don't know of one DVG. I I played a, b a bunch of best of one decks on on Monday. If you you know if you want to check out the YouTube channel with some of those decks there. Um, but as far as like just like um, a specific site that is just dedicated to posting best of one deck lists. I do not know of such a site. Um, we're doing good. We're playing a, a fun deck here. So Lazatep Reaver is free. I can just like play it, sack like the two things the Lazatep Reaver makes, draw a card, add two mana again, and then play Midnight Reaper. But I kind of want to do that after playing Midnight Reaper. You will not dissuade me from battle. No, let's. Basically, I, I hit the Sahili because Sahili minusing to, like, copy Crackling Drake can be kind of devastating. Uh, now with finding the uh, Ayara, I, I kind of regret that. Yeah, we got to do, like, either 22 or 23 damage in one of those, like, in one turn against a, a Field of the Dead deck. Just untap with Citadel and just keep playing stuff off the top and, tr you know, triggering a Yara. And then sack the permanence of Citadel. Okay. I wish I could play Midnight Reaper and Orzhov Enforcer and then activate Priest. But we cannot do that. We need to draw a cat. There you go. Thanks, Ozzy. Yeah, thanks for clipping it. There you go. That was a good turn. We need to draw the cat. Or a citadel. What's up, Necrolepsy? Going well. Going well. Yeah, this has been a real fun deck to play here. No. Oslin did. Oslin donated this masterpiece. Okay. 
So I got five mana. So three of it is killing the Royal Scions. That's just going to happen. So then I guess the other part, we're going to just play this Lazatep Reaver. Saza, things are going good. Mm. Oh yeah, they, they don't get to they don't get to copy. Their Sahili is taken for. Boo. Alright, let's sack this to draw two. Alright, there's a cat. Another cat. So we're basically going to be on cat drains for now on. So that's three mana, four, five, and then so duress is the sixth mana, so we can just duress. Oh, come on. What a jerk move. Yes, I want to use the witch's oven. Need to kill this crackling drake, that's all we gotta do. We're good anyway. They're down to four. We know they have a land in, in hand. So just attack with these. Feed the cat. All right, so I could do like I could have done a whole lot more if we needed to by Witch's Cottage put a, a Yara back on top, and then you know like play Citadel, play a Yara, and and you know play more cats. So we could have done more. We don't really need to. All right, the kitty cats got us there. You think Iowa wins by eight and Florida wins by four? Oh, I don't. I don't know if about Iowa winning by eight in in Michigan. I'll be. You know, if, I'd be a lot more confident about it if Iowa was at home. <laughs> Cat combo.
Hey, Baloney Pony. Yeah, got got some good rest last night. We're back at it again here today with the sweet deck here. Simic Flash is probably difficult to defeat. Yeah, they're just bouncing a Yara. Cat combo with Great Hinge? Or with the Great Hinge? That does sound pretty sweet. So we do have Gruesome Menagerie to be able to bring this back. If it gets countered. Um, I like throwing out cards that are kind of like must counter cards also though to slow down the wolf. Okay. Or well, we're not slowing down the wolf. It may just have, you know, like all creatures and stuff and not counter spells anyway. This is an easy block. Yeah, Cinder Soul, we ran out of time. We didn't get to the Simic Ramp yesterday. So yeah, we didn't didn't play it yesterday. What's up, Niz? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub there, Niz. Niz with the sub there. It's our third sub of the day. Yeah, that's that's what we're gonna do that uh, today. Like as you see here, we're playing Simic Wishes. So we're doing that, the wish, the best of one wish sideboard deck today, uh, and we're gonna see how it works out and everything. Um, you know, because yeah, we were excited about doing that last time. That's it. Scooped it up. No wolf equals no win for our opponent. So Blight Beetle stops Brineborn Cutthroat from getting counters. And also doesn't get blocked by wolves. <laughs> They're scooping like kitty litter over there. <laughs> uh um. All right, what are the two cards that I'm cutting? I want to play these 62, but we can't play 62. Maybe I don't play the Menageries. But, you know, they counter, like, the important stuff. They just let, like, Lazatep Reaver, Reaver resolve. It's not going to do anything. Let's cut those. 
<laughs> You're here? Yes, always. Thanks so much there, Tom. I really appreciate that continued support. Y'all are awesome with these subs. Thank you so much, everybody. Keep. Noxious Grass is basically only for Wolf, but Wolf is really good. Wolf needs to be countered. Need to do a giveaway so you can donate a sub? Okay. Um... Boot, what's your favorite card in Throne of Eldraine? Uh, land would have been nice. Cool. <clears throat> I'm all for Lazotep Reaver getting countered. No, where's my land? Always have a wolf. Hey, soul farmer. Please don't have a second wolf. A second wolf would be devastating. All right, the house is full. Our house is full. Full of nobles. Full of nobles and knights. Lucky Clover? Okay. All right, so we're going to be doing a very fast giveaway here. You have one minute to type Lucky Clover into the chat. And if you win, you'll be, get, you'll be gifted a sub from Boot. So I guess if you're already subscribed, then you don't really need to be part of the giveaway. But it's 5.33 right now. Whenever it goes to 5.34. Then we'll see who wins. So almost time. So I guess I just play a Yara again. All right, 
534. So it looks like the winner is Solar. Could, that could be Soldier. Can't really. They're just like numbers and stuff. Yeah, congrats, Solar. You are here, right, Solar? Make sure. <laughs> Never Lucky Clo Clover. Yeah, there you go. All right, so they just scryed to the top with that temple. So they, they like one of their cards in hand. And Solar there with the sub. Thank you so much there, Boot. Fun little giveaway there. Thanks, Boot. All right, so five subs on the day. Okay, uh, I guess I'm gonna go with the Midnight Reaper. I guess I could play the castle first, but they probably don't have a fourth quench, do they? Awesome, Morgan. Glad to hear. These two for one frilled mystics. All right, opponent only has one more card left. Don't want to risk attacking with the Cauldron Familiar there with us having Priest now. So yeah, it looks like they just got another land in hand. I kind of want to block with a Yara. Take out one creature. Priest takes out the other one. Then we're down to just like being able to get rid of the, the last creature the next turn. I don't know. If I don't block, I go down to nine. No, we'll be able to play it. Like, the Midnight Reaper will resolve. They're not going to have a two-man encounter for it. I guess they could have Essence Capture, I guess. Hey, Graham. So we get to draw three. We'll have three mana. All right, well, I'm glad. I'm glad I did not block with a Yara. I'm glad we did not uh, 
block. Wow. Veil vale Summer is rough. All right, Grim. Jund suicide. I like it. That deck looks pretty sweet. Basically, Cauldron Familiar, Witch's Oven, but then, you know, Dreadhorde Butcher, Priest, Judith, Mayhem Devil, Rankle, Corvold, Splashing Green for Corvold. That deck looks pretty sweet. Okay. Um, we're going to say no blocks. Cool. All right. Ayara Citadel. Three and O. Oh. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to try that deck. Grim Intent. I'll try it. I sa I'm saving it. It looks pretty cool. The <laughs> metagame's cat vs. goose. <laughs> Cat meta. Ooh, look at this hand. Hello. Ah, oh, it is cat versus goose. New dual deck. Really want another cheap creature. I don't want to sacrifice a Yara to get rid of. A goose. We need some other kind of cheap creature. Alright, well we might as well sacrifice here. I don't get to do anything with that mana. You can only pick up gutter bones on your own turn. Um, I could just play Gutter Bones and Rider and sack those two. Or I can just have my Rider kill the Paradise Druid. A swift end, you know, we don't get to really kill Wicked Wolf. It's probably better to make them sacrifice, but I guess we can just do that next turn, though, also. I mean, this looks to be a four-color wolf deck. I think getting rid of the Paradise Druid can, can be nice. I think that could slow them down. Okay, okay. 
Unfortunately, I don't get to a Yara and one of these. These things both cost three mana. So I think I... Play Rider, make them sacrifice, play a Yara. Or then I, I could pick up both Gutter Bones, actually. Yeah, I kind of like that. Getting rid of the 7-6. So picking up both gutter bones here means that next turn I can go a Yara, gutter bone, gutter bone, sack the gutter bones. They, of course, get to gain three life with this food. Um, so I can play Rider to drain him to one. Or just play a Gutter Bones. Still drain him to one. And then, of course, all right, so the food puts him up to four. Stop. Stop killing my stuff. <laughs> It'll kind of give me a little bit of information. They're probably sacking the token. Could sack Tulsimer. I kind of want to kill the Paradise Druid, right? Because Tulsimer costs... Oh, no, it only costs single white, not double white. Okay, so they can still play Tulsimer if they have another one. So basically holding up Murderous Rider in case they have another Tulsimer to fight to kill Priest. Or if they have a Wicked Wolf to fight and kill Priest. Gross. Gross. Deck is awesome. GG's. Uh -huh. Alright, so we're going to play this other gruesome menagerie. Um... Uh, 
Probably supposed to be Noxious Grasping. Probably. Hmm. All right, here we go. Yeah, we got some mono black. Good hand, good hand. Need to. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna ramp to the citadel. Maybe we'll draw a priest. Yeah, Hawkeye was coughing a little bit there, but yep, he looks fine now. Our opponent's deck can certainly be a tough matchup here. Because, uh, yeah, they get, you know, all these food tokens can gain a lot of life. You know, like the fighting with all all the wolves that fight. Um, and then, of course, the... The Great Henge. Really hard to deal with. But yeah, Questing Beast. Alright, so I, sh I should play Nox Noxious Grass because of Questing Beast. Yeah. Ow. This jerk Questing Beast here. Rude. Let's play a game of hide and seek. Stay on the Enforcer cannot block Questing Beast. Debating whether or not to chump block. So these things, these things can't block. I can't block questing beast with any of these cards. No, don't kill a, a Yara. Kind of need my creatures out there with like priests and everything. I could win this. We have to get really lucky. But if we have a Yara, uh, it's a land. 
<clears throat> if we had no lands for like a long time, if we had like a Yara and then like infinite creatures, we could win this, especially, you know, with the bullet sack trigger. So close. I need I need three more creatures here. To be able to activate Citadel. I need three more there. Alright, so we need to play these things. I don't really know what to cut though. I kind of like I want all these cards in here. I guess maybe I can't play a menagerie. Menagerie is pretty good though, especially like they have like this removal to kill my stuff. Could just take out Forever Young and Menagerie. I guess I do that. <clears throat> Alright, well, we got Priest on two. We can maybe draw us into, you know, we need two more lands to get to Citadel. But we kind of have, we have all of our key parts. We just need land now. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think getting Paradise Druid out of there is pretty important. Against our opponent's deck. Okay, good. Yeah, that was bad that I did not attack with Priest also. I should have attacked with Priest. <clears throat> should have attacked with Priest also. I leave the Golgari now. Step aside or be crushed. Hmm. <laughs> Is yours. Yeah, I messed that up. All right, so I can either. I think I don't use this. All right, let's just go to my turn. Ugh, three drop. So three drop does trigger gutter bones, but that doesn't. I want to hold up Noxious Grass for the, all these fight things that my opponent has. Okay. Try my luck elsewhere. No, stop. I need a six land. <laughs> Eight six oh nine. There we go. That's pretty nice with putting a Yara back as well. No, they had their best possible card. Um, I think I just decline. I think I just want to draw Orzhov Enforcer next turn. Yeah, they were, they were like definitely dead. They didn't have trophy there, but. You've got a good head on your shoulders. You're not scared of dogs, are you? We're still looking pretty good. Uh, I'd say no, Garrick. Not too scared of dogs. We got cats. Cats v dogs. Four and O. Oh. We did it. All right, here we go. Final boss playlist. Let's get those final boss emotes in chat. Final boss. This deck's working out for us here. <laughs> the cats are too fast for the pups. And yeah, cats are greater than geese. That's what we've 
found out there. Oh, guys, back there. He's he's liking the deck. He's he's liking his little blanket uh, fortress over there too, though. We need more lands than that. Okay, we got more lands than that. So this is this is a problem. I want to keep all of these. I could just put the citadel back. I guess that's the thing to do is put Citadel back, back, but Citadel just wins games. But we should we should do the responsible thing and put our six mana card away whenever we only have three mana. <laughs> this is the first yeah, this is the first time I've played the this cat here, this familiar. We've I've played cat decks on the stream before. This is the first one. First time playing this specific Kit Kat. Don't kill a Yara. What are you doing? Ugh. I don't think don't think we're winning this game. We'll see. I think I just pass here and hold up Murderous Rider because they have, you know, like, Questing Beast. We just got to kill it. You know, Cyborg will have our all of our Noxious Grasps in here. Thunder Shaman. Can only be blocked by one creature. Well, the Pelt Collector has Trample now. I'm gonna be killing Pelt Collector. Possible I'm supposed to just play Midnight Reaper here, so I, you know, chump with gutter bones, draw an extra card. Ugh. I'm gonna take this though. That works. Cause I can, I can just block the next turn with gutter bones on the, the Sunder Shaman and then sack gutter bones to a Yara here after blocks. They're playing Ravnica Gruel. Uh they played a once upon a time. Never mind, not everything's Ravnica block. I guess that's War of the Spark, which isn't 
That's kind of the Ravnica block. <laughs> nice protection from multicolor creature. I don't know exactly what they're going to do with the other two mana. We'll kind of see. Yeah, I'm still planning on having this 1-1 one, one chump the Sunder Shaman and block and activate activating the Ayara after after blocking. Dang. What? Are you serious? Ugh. Man, we got bolt bended. Wow. Bolt bend. What? Yeah, I think they're just dead. Yeah, they're very dead. Just kind of making sure. So we should go to seven here. Oh, it has trample. Uh, we go down to one. One's not zero. One's not zero. We haven't played this card yet. Let's play the card. That was cool. All right. 
Up a game. Up a game. <laughs> yeah, we'd already won. Why, why not play the new card? We haven't played that card yet. All right, so grasp. That's right. The five O is within our grasp. We're kind of gonna kind of do, I guess, the same thing we just did is just take out the Forever Youngs and take out the Gruesome Menageries and go with this. Same thing we're kind of doing there. It's not. Oh yeah, we're we're practicing for five O Friday for tomorrow, Matthew. That's what we're doing. We're practicing for five O Friday. Yeah, it's surprising how much all these little drains from Ayara like really add up whenever you have this many, like this critical mass of uh, small creatures here that you get to play. This is the downside of Witch's Cottage. Because I want to go Bones on 1, Priest on 2, Ayara on 3. But Cottage comes into play tapped for one of those. Yeah, uh... Yeah, we kind of looked at Sir Conrad, thought, uh, kind of decided it was too expensive. There you go, Rex. Nice. Okay, okay. So I go Cauldron Familiar, Priest. Priest is the best mana dork. I don't like it. I don't like, yeah, I don't like these plot twists. These bolt bends. I don't like it one bit. I 
kind of expecting Hellkite. We're going to have Murderous Rider here. May need to just kill the Pelt Collector. No, we gotta just... <clears throat> so if I, if I kill Hawkeye, this thing does five to me. I lose two from Ryder, so I'm taking seven going down to nine. And then this thing is still Trample. You still just have to do that, though. Uh, no, I just have PayPal. Oh yeah, I could yeah I could have done it post combat. Sorry, um, but yeah no I I just have PayPal there. Legion Zen finally spiked in price. <clears throat> Makes sense. It's it's kind of everywhere. Thankfully, they didn't do haste. Well, I guess haste didn't kill me, so. All right, can I do seven damage? Maybe not. Yeah, we got there. With a point to spare. GG's. There we go. That's a 5-0. Let's, let's get to our victory fanfare here. A 5-0. All right. That was pretty awesome. All right. Ayara Citadel. That was that was really impressive. Um, Priest of Forgotten Gods was just absolutely insane good for us. Um, yeah, Priest of Forgotten Gods was just incredible. Obviously, Ayara was incredible too. These these were like our two best cards. Um, but the you know we got to do Cauldron Familiar, which is oven combo a little bit. Definitely helped win some games with that. You know, Midnight Reaper getting us some extra cards was pretty big. These two drops were both really nice. Uh, especially the Lazotep Reaver being multiple bodies for Priest of Forgotten Gods. That was really nice. 
there. Um, the gutter bones were definitely good. We probably should have a fourth gutter bones in here. The the forever young. Hey, maybe. Thank you so much for the donation deck there. Um. So the I think the um. All right, here. Let me. I'll, I'm gonna get you a, a a better place to link the deck because it doesn't all like doesn't all go on there. So maybe if you're if you're in chat right now, here go go there, and post the deck list on there. But I think we'd want a, a fourth gutter bones in here over that forever young. The the forever youngs weren't really cards that I I was really wanting too much. Um, and yeah, I could definitely see just playing the other murderous, another like murderous rider was really clutch, uh, quite a few times. So yeah, I could definitely just see taking both of those out and playing another murderous rider here. Um, basically just didn't really want the forever youngs. We didn't get to play, um, uh, we didn't get to play here. Maybe go, go here and post, post the deck list on there and then send me a link to the deck list. Um, because the the whole deck doesn't get to go through the the thing there. But yeah, we didn't really we didn't get to play Gruesome Menagerie, but I think that it could work out really well, especially with getting an eighth one drop in there. Um, I like the Gruesome Menagerie quite a bit. I could see taking out castles. We didn't really makes we didn't really flood out too bad, but we're only a twenty four land deck. I could see taking out castles and playing like the fourth cottage and. A 20th swamp also maybe um the the noxious grasp or clutch in the sideboard i think it's uh there we go we'll go back to our normal playlist i think it's likely the blight beetle isn't very good and it's likely that the blight beetle should be like a fourth grasp and you know like a third ashiok for like those matchups you really want ashiok like probably just want like these cards because these cards are just so good in the matchups that you want them, and, and there's so many people playing those decks where Noxious Grasp and Ashiok are really good, and probably just don't need Blight Beetle at all. That's what I'd... So, maybe a couple little changes there around the edges, kind of clean it up, kind of, you know, get some more copies of some of these cards. Um, but, there we go. Yeah, Castles could be clutch against Control. So, I, I don't mind, I kind of like uh, those, but maybe maybe something like this for the next time. But that deck was a lot of fun to play. That was that was pretty sweet. Priest of Forgotten Gods, MVP, for sure. Okay, um, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there, and leave some comments. Let me know what you thought about the deck and all that kind of stuff. Please leave, leave some comments. I always like seeing those over on YouTube. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.